What? Uh, what? Uh, I can't hear you. Here, helpless man. You need to go. Where? You need to venture out. Yeah? Yeah. Bundle up, buttercup. All Let's right. Let's go. <laughs>
you can still go in and check out the magnificent views of the Mississippi River from the Endless Bridge. Back when the New Guthrie opened, the Endless Bridge was the largest occupied cantilever in the world. It's open to the public, no tickets required. Okay, I don't know if I should be telling anybody this, but what I like about the Guthrie is the super long escalators. I know the Guthrie is a classic place, but I can't get over it. These escalators will blow you away. All right, we are now about to head over to the Polar Plunge, where my brother Tony will be jumping in to the lake in almost March. We're at Lake Bidet Makaska. Ice and snow are covering much of the lake. Even on such a winter's day, plenty of people are jogging and strolling around. A few are walking on the lake. Others plan to plunge into it. Like my little brother, Tony. He's taking part in the polar plunge. What's the polar plunge? Well, <laughs> people raise money so they can jump into a frozen lake to support Special Olympics Minnesota. It happens in cities all throughout the state. Most of the events take place sometime between the end of January through mid-March. It's a great time to travel to Minnesota and enjoy the weather we're known for. See the young man with the plunger on his head and a GoPro in his hand? You betcha that's my brother. He's quite the punny guy. Here's the deal, I love tacos. I could have tacos every day of the week for lunch. No, I actually breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I could do it. Let's do this. Barrio's delicious scratch-made food and margaritas crafted with care took the chill off our morning adventure. First up, chips and salsa. They offer a mild roasted tomato chili de arbol salsa. Salsa Verde, and their spiciest, a habanero salsa. Chris's favorite salsa is the, oh my gosh, hold the phone. What? Chris, Carolina Reaper dippin', lover of spicy wing challenges. His favorite salsa of the three is the, the what? What? The mild one? Yeah, the mild one. Oh my gosh. It's about flavor. My favorite comes as no surprise. It's a salsa verde. I like what I like. Middle of the road. Um, how I typically eat a taco. With a fork. Hi. Do you or someone you love have a hard time eating tacos? Were you never taught how to eat a taco as a kid? Well, we can help. Call the number below and you'll be connected to a taco eating expert. Remember, we must all respect the taco. For drinks, Chris tried Barrio's flagship margarita, the Trinity. It has Cabrito Blanco tequila, Cointreau, and lime juice. I love spicy margaritas, so on the server's suggestion, I tried the Diamante Pepino. It's made with Maestro Dobel Diamante tequila, Cointreau, cucumber, jalapeno, and lime juice. Oh, the best time of them all, taco time. I really think taco time should be all the time. We tried pork carnitas, grilled steak, mushroom, and grilled chicken tacos. Oh, and I had a pollo enchilada. All of them were delicious. You can't go wrong. Popular 70s 
sitcom, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, was the first sitcom to take place in Minneapolis. This statue, which honors Mary Tyler Moore, is located on Nicolet, just a couple of blocks down from Barrio. Yeah, and apparently wives like to make husbands do the hat throw. Do it again. <laughs> Who is that, honey? Mary Tyler Moore. What's so special about her? She's actually my mother. <laughs> wow, thanks for watching all the way to this spot. Please support our channel by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Bell? When did we get a bell? Wait, hey, everybody on YouTube has a bell. What? Yep. Yeah, and make sure you click the thumbs up. And if you have anything to say, you know, jot the comments down below. Until next time, Kremel's out of here. Goodbye.